Good morning, or depending when you're watching this, good afternoon, good evening, or good night. My name is Ross, and as always told, out of voice radio. Uh, let's just say today I'm here with much better news than yesterday. Yesterday I showed you a video about how monetization had been removed from PTCG Radio, and I had no idea why. Well, the bad news is I still have no idea why it was ever taken away. The good news is it seems to have been put back. It's still a little bit confusing, because when I go into my channel, it says monetization is enabled, but there's still that blue banner saying... You are not eligible for monetization, which is a bit weird, but it doesn't matter. It's fixed. And there's a couple of reasons I'm making this video today. Primarily, thank you. Like, seriously, sincerely, genuinely, from the bottom of my heart. I know, bit fluffy, don't care. Bowled over by the support from all you lovely ladies and gentlemen. Frankly, when I realised this was an issue yesterday and I got in touch with YouTube, they were just... All they would do... There were two things they would do. They would link me to the policy, which I knew I hadn't broken. And they would tell me I can reapply in 30 days. Except it's not really 30 days, is it? Like I said in yesterday's video, when I applied for monetization on Wassy Plays, it took three months to get approved. So not really 30 days, it's like 120 days, except... The thing is, for YouTube, they're like, ah, oh, 30 days. But that, that's not the whole story, is it? Because 30 days has a specific monetary value for people that rely on the money from YouTube. I was talking this through with my wife, and we both said, look, we know that YouTube monetization fluctuates. We accept that. We know that there will be some months where it is lower, maybe if they're a bit lower than we were expecting or hoping. We're prepared for that. What we're not prepared for is to wake up in the morning and literally find out it's been demonetized, even though I haven't broken any rules. And that is exactly what happened yesterday. Anybody who tweeted, and there were many of you, anyone who retweeted, and there were many of you, anyone who watched the video, I mean, the, the, the tweet I sent out has been retweeted more than 450 times, which is way more than any I've ever sent out. All day yesterday, from when I from when I basically told you guys about it to when I went to bed and beyond, it was a constant stream of tweets and retweets and people coming out in support. And it wasn't just people going, hey, YouTube, fix it. It was a bunch of people who were going out of their way to say nice things about me and message me on Patreon, message me on Facebook and email me. And DM me on Twitter. Any possible way people could have got in touch, they did. The video I posted yesterday about this is my most liked video I've ever put up on this channel. I don't think that means it's the best video I've ever done, but I think it is a great show of the love and support that I got from everyone yesterday. I've had, I think it was a third most amount of comments, and it's been up for less than a day. It really was humbling. It's what got me through yesterday. Yesterday was a horrible, horrible day. Yesterday was one of the worst days I've had in a very long time. I was legitimately worried I wouldn't be able to pay my mortgage on my house. That's literally where we were. That's where I was yesterday. I was worried that I wouldn't be able to afford to pay the mortgage on my house because I'd lost this with no notice. But you guys came through. And I don't think it gets fixed without you guys. Now, I'm, I've sent out a couple of tweets, I'll send out another one, but I couldn't say thank you as, I suppose, as clearly as I wanted to on Twitter. I don't want to just send out a little tweet going, cheers guys! I want to really explain that, <laughs> that this was a huge problem for me, and this caused a huge amount of, of worry, and because you guys are awesome, you fixed it. We made enough noise between us that YouTube actually went and fixed it. They never told me they'd fixed it. I never got an email from them saying it was fixed. I never got a tweet from them saying it was fixed. Unless I've missed it, and maybe I did, but I've not seen any communication from YouTube whatsoever to say, hey, we fixed the problem. They still haven't told me what happened. But monetization is back up, and I live chatted them with them earlier, and they said it's back. And they said they can confirm it's back. It might have been a bot I was talking to, to be honest. It doesn't really matter. They've said that they can confirm it's back. And that's the key thing. As for why it happened, still don't know. The woman I spoke to today linked me to YouTube policies again, like I haven't been reading them constantly for the past day, trying to figure out what happened. Thank you to everyone that got in touch with ideas. Honestly, I don't... 
I think it was that my videos are all stylistically similar, and sometimes they've got just card image and translation on the screen, and it doesn't always change as much, so I'm just talking through the cards. And it might be that a few of them were picked up as the same. I don't know. They still haven't told me. The fact that it got fixed so quickly means it did not take them very long to do an investigation. They told me yesterday they did a thorough investigation with a team of dedicated specialists. Obviously, that wasn't true. It was obviously a bot that picked it up. And there's something in my videos. That's what so many people have said that I, I'm beginning to think that's got to be what it was. I wish I knew what it was so I could fix it. That, that's a prevailing theory. I, I don't know. They still haven't told me. They, they haven't even bothered sending me an email to say it's fixed which is rubbish, but it doesn't matter, it's fixed. Number one, I just want to say thank you to you guys. I wanted to explain what had happened in a way I couldn't just in a tweet, and I wanted to just thank you guys for doing it. Incidentally, yes, this video is monetized, as is the one from yesterday now, not because I'm some kind of scumbag. I'm sure you guys have realized this. YouTube monetize videos whether they pay the creators or not. Adverts will well, they don't monetize, but they, they put adverts on to make money. The only difference is whether YouTube get all the money or the creator gets a cut. Yesterday, if you went and watched my videos, there were still adverts on them. I wasn't getting any money, YouTube was. But there were still adverts on my videos, which kind of got to me a bit. And several people also pointed that out. It was a, a horrible irony of it. There should be no mid-roll ads in these videos. It's purely just, you know what, yeah, I monetize because there are going to be ads on this video whether I do or not. But we're back. And that means normal service can resume. It means world starts in two days and I can just do my thing. Anything you guys want to know about the Pokemon World Championships, you'll be able to know. Now, I cannot thank every single person individually. It's literally impossible. There are, honestly, if you add up all the tweets, the retweets, the Facebook messages, the shares, the, the YouTube comments, there's well over a thousand people who, who helped me out yesterday. I cannot thank all those people individually. Anyone who sent a tweet or retweeted or watched my video, anyone who's watching this, just thank you. You guys are awesome. There are a few people I do want to specifically shout out there. First of all, it was Dan TDM and Joe from Cerebi and Jay Wits, who are all way bigger and more important than I am, who all took time out of their day to tweet support and to tweet YouTube. That, that meant the world to me. That really honestly did. But also, I told you in yesterday's video that if you wanted to help, there was a Patreon. I also said I wasn't asking you to join the Patreon, but it was there if you wanted to. Well, a whole bunch of people chose to. They are awesome. I just want to give shout-outs to all the people that joined Patreon yesterday. Uh, I, mean, I can only use the names you use on Patreon, so that, they're the ones I'm using. But Lyndall Tremaine, Kelly Clugson, Zodiac, Justin Wise, Nathan McReynolds, James Apple, Nathan Burkhart, David Piper, Victor Diaz, Evan Adams, Arnoldo Tafoya, Del Yakel, sorry if I'm mispronouncing any of these, Josh Harper, John Gera, Adrian Kazmerick, Stephen Fitzpatrick, Ryan, Lance Ketz, and Henrik Honsbein. Again, sorry for any of the pronunciations. All those people chose to join the Patreon yesterday. Patreon.com slash PTCG Radio. I said in yesterday's video I wasn't asking you to, but I, I got so many messages from people yesterday asking, either saying, do you have a Patreon? Or going, hey, maybe you shouldn't be relying on YouTube. Maybe you should have a Patreon. Apparently, I am not pushing it hard enough because a bunch of people didn't even know. Anyone that joined thinking it was going to take a long time to get resolved, and now it has been resolved, if you want to unsupport, that's fine. No issues at all. If you want to stay, brilliant. If you don't, that's absolutely fine. Because I know that all of you guys were basically going, look, this dude's having a hard time with this YouTube thing. We're going to join Patreon to help him out. And if you want to stay, brilliant. More the merrier. If you don't want to stay and you want to go, oh, he's fixed it. I don't need to support anymore. That's absolutely fine by me. Seeing those emails, you saw us reading off my phone there, the list of emails I got. Seeing those emails pop up yesterday really did, really, really did help. So yeah, hopefully that's the end of the story. Hopefully this is the last video where I come and talk to you on camera and explain it all. I'm going to show you a Pokemon related video in a couple hours and then from tomorrow we should be back to our minimum two Pokemon videos a day. And no more of this. I don't like these videos. I don't want to do these videos. Yesterday I had to. I had to do something and that was, it was a, something I could do. Today, 
I wanted to explain what happened. I wanted to round out the story, and I wanted to say thanks to all you lovely ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to say it one more time. Anyone that did anything to help, you guys are awesome, and I love you, and you helped. Every single person that did anything to help, you helped fix the problem. The problem is fixed, and it wouldn't be if not for you guys. So there we go. There's going to be lots of Pokemon stuff, and literally starting in two days, Pokemon World Championships, I don't think we're going to be able to stop at two videos a day for those ones. I mean, there's going to be a bit too much going on. So thank you very much, everyone. Normal service will resume shortly, so comment, like, subscribe, all that good stuff, and I'll be back with Pokemon content and not moaning about YouTube. Woo! Incidentally, I hold no real animosity towards YouTube. It happens. Yes, it sucks it happened to me, but mistakes happen. I'm just really glad it's been fixed. Bye.